Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we'll be exploring kernels and specifically kernels in image processing. So we'll be looking at three different questions. The first one is what exactly is an image kernel? The second one is the different types of kernels available. And the third is how do we use a, a kernel to compute the pixel value uh, using a kernel, right? So the first uh, topic is what exactly is an image kernel? So to put it in simple terms, an image kernel is a n cross n matrix that is used to apply different effects on our image, right? So if for people who have used photo Photoshop, you must have uh, known that there are different types of filters or uh, effects that you can apply to a photo, right? There is that blur, you can apply vignette and you can sharpen your photo and so and so forth, right? So basically the principle behind all those effects is image kernels. So it's, uh, and as we know that an image, we also know that an image is nothing but a matrix or a, it's an m cross n matrix full of values right these values describe the intensity of the color present at that particular pixel each value corresponds to one pixel right so the image is nothing but a 2d matrix and image kernel is an n cross n matrix that you will use to apply different effects on the images right so the different types of kernels so i'll be listing on the major types of kernels that you have so the first one is the one that is pretty common that is your uh, blur right you have your blur effect the second one is your sharpen and another one that you use is your uh, edge detection we also have uh, something known as emboss there is of course the identity kernel which is nothing but the image itself and then we have something called as uh, bottom sobel and if we have something as bottom it is logical that we have something as top sobel as well and if you have bottom and top, there exists left and right as well. Left Sobel and right Sobel. So these are just different types of kernels that are there. And as I said, a kernel is an n cross n matrix. And generally we use 3 cross 3. Uh, the dimension is 3 cross 3. And the matrix that is standard for say this blur, it is of this form. It is like 0 0.0625 this is 0 0.125 and this is again 0 0.0625 this is 0 0.25 and it's just basically mirrored and this is again 0 0.125 this is again 0 0.125 this is 0 0.0625 and this is again 0 0.0625 right so this ma matrix corresponds to the blur uh, similarly for sharpen if I might I'll use a different color maybe let's say I'll use red so for sharpen the matrix that we use is this one 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 5 minus 1 0 minus 1 0 this is the kernel that we use for uh, sharpen and if we talk about edge detection I'll use another color let's say I'll use orange maybe and if we talk about edge detection we have the kernel 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 4 minus 1 0 minus 1 0 now identity is the same image itself so it's just all zeros and the central element that is your if I if my mat matrix is called A, then A11 will be 1 and everything will be 0, right? 
that's your identity and we don't really use emboss and these sobels so i won't go into the details as of now so this is just a variety of the kernels available now how do you compute the value of a pixel after applying a kernel so let's say i've got my first image in the form of a matrix here and this is my output so this is basically my input and this is my output and somewhere in between i have a kernel right i need to process it and say i have this kernel somewhere in between so for so for let's say simplicity sake i'll just be using the sharpen uh, kernel to get some basically easy values for calculation and so my sharpen kernel is 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 4 minus 1 0 minus 1 and 0 now let us fill the pixel values intensity values of the pixels right so let's say i'll just use arbitrary values this is say uh, 6 this is 7 this is 8 this is 20 this is 10 this is 5 this is 4 this is say 2 and let's say this is 9 right so and i'll be using different values here as well say i'll give two examples of kernels so this is i'll use a different color maybe to differentiate say different i'll use white that will be more better and say the pixel values here are 10 7 2 1 5 8 2 3 20 right so i'll be using two different kernels and so for the yellow yellow color coded pixel let's say we apply the sharpen kernel so what we do is we take each element and multiply it with the corresponding element in your kernel and keep adding it up and so the the value of this 3 cross 3 uh, input uh, like matrix will correspond to the pixel value of this first pixel here so if we simplify that here we get 6 times 0 6 is the value of the pixel there multiplied with the kernel value at that place is 0 and then you keep adding so this is plus 7 times minus 1 plus 8 times 0 plus 20 times minus 1 plus 10 times 4 plus 5 times minus 1 plus 4 times 0 plus 2 times minus 1 plus 9 times 0 so if we solve it we get uh, minus 7 minus 27 minus 32 minus 34 plus 40 you get 6 so the f the value of this pixel stays as 6 now it is coincidentally happening that the pixel intensity is not changing but it may not always be the case so this pixel will be 6 this particular pixel so for this particular different matrix say this one we that will correspond to the pixel number 5 one this one right i'll use a different color So we are finding the value of this pixel now. This pixel is basically 10 times 0 plus 7 times minus 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 1 times minus 1 plus 5 times 4 plus 8 times minus 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 3 times minus 1 plus 20 times 0. I'm using the sharpen kernel as it is. If you use say a different, uh, oh sorry, we're using the edge detection one, my bad. So if I'm using the sharpen one, and I'll show that in red because I'll keep the consistency. If I use the sharpen one, you get zero, minus one, zero, minus one, five, minus one, zero, minus one, zero. This is my sharpen as shown above, and this is the edge detection. So I'm doing all my calculations as edge detection, right? And if we solve this, we get uh, minus 7, minus 8, minus 16, minus 19, plus 20, so 1. So this value 
will be 1 right after I apply my edge detection uh, kernel on this matrix right so for each matrix you do this and you get the different uh, values of each pixel and the resultant uh, image that you get as your output is the, uh, the new image after you have applied your kernel now a uh, common doubt is what happens at the edge cases right so for edge cases you might see that uh, we are short of one column and one row right so for uh, calculation purposes we add a black row as one extra row and one extra column and initialize that with 255 right so that's the general process we use and there is a pretty good uh, website on the internet that shows visualization of each image as you hover around the mat matrices so i will suggest if you explore that to get a bit more idea but otherwise this is everything regarding image kernels so make sure to like the video if it helps subscribe to the channel press on the bell icon to get notified every time i post and make sure to share this video with everyone uh, who has an interest in computer vision and image processing it will mean a lot if you share this video and i'll see you in the next video guys bye bye